You are no one's spiritual meal ticket. What God has purposed you for, he will bring you someone who will be willing to support you in what he's purposed you for and not to put you in a box, in a box that you have for a long time wrestled to get out of. By the hand of God, you've finally been freed. Don't let anyone come along and try to use you for their purposes. And I am talking other believers, you know, do not let anyone try to use you for their purposes or try to bring you back down to this world when the Lord himself has lifted you up. Don't let anyone feel like you need them to get to the next level because you don't. What you need is the Lord and he's been walking you along this path since your birth, whether or not you knew it. It is not by the hand of any man or any woman or any boss or any one that you will excel that you will do better that you will get closer to the lord it is by god's hand himself and the people that he brings to your life this is how you can tell like who sent you you know you can tell who the lord sends and who the enemy sends because the, the people that the lord sends they're not going to utilize try to utilize you for their own purposes you know what i mean they are first realizing that you belong to the lord and the things that you are already walking in the lord is walking you through them you know they're not gonna talk to you like you're stupid or you don't know what's going on because they are understanding sorry my tv stand just got here because um as you many of you know the lord moved me to texas a, a little bit ago and i'm still kind of getting all my uh, apartment ducks in a row but the the guy from amazon i tell you what today he knocked nice it was like a song he's like do, 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 do. and the other day he was like banging like the police yes i know how the police rang okay i grew up a little uh <laughs> anyway so as we were saying what were we saying yes you are no one's spiritual meal ticket. You know, people that come into your life that the Lord sends are there to further you. They're not there to course correct you. You don't need course correction by other humans. You know, even leaders are here to lead the people to righteousness, not to micromanage them. The Holy Spirit is the one who brings us where we need to go okay but people who are from the enemy will try to use you unto their own purposes and then they'll get angry when you are able to discern that when you're able to discern that hey that's not the way i was going or hey you know all of a sudden you started by treating me one way and now all of a sudden um you're treating me another way you know discernment is really something and just don't be offended don't get upset when people are upset or offended by you. You know, you must be discerning. You're not, you must follow the Holy Spirit at all costs. You must follow the Holy Spirit at all costs because people can bring you this way in the world, but the Holy Spirit wants to bring you this way. And guess what? People can't bring you this way. People can't bring you this way. And the people that the Lord sends you are going to be also going vertical. You know, there's going to be no, um, you know, none of that none of that clashing because you're all going vertical with the holy spirit and yes he'll bring people to help you to teach you to to love you to you know to whatever but it's always going to be there's going to be peace there there's going to be peace there you know you can kind of there that's why red flags i swear red flags are a sign from god that's like hey i didn't send this person hey i didn't send this person hey i didn't tell them to say that hey and believe me there's a lot of people out here will say god told me this and god told me that do not be taken advantage of do not be taken advantage of there will always be red flags and you must follow the holy spirit no matter what because you know only god can use you only god is allowed to use you as believers we're called to be meek we're called to be humble put others before ourselves your enemies slap you gotta love your enemies man we got <laughs> we got a laundry list of things to put before our own vanities um you know vanity is always sin but before our, our own selves you know we're called to put others before ourselves if if your enemy slapped your cheek give them the other one which isn't literal but it means like you know you come your heart is postured in humility before people you're to love your enemies you're to pray for your enemies 
And that's a long laundry list of things to do, but nowhere on your laundry list of things to do, nowhere in it will, the Holy Spirit will never lead you to be a doormat. He'll never lead you to be used by people who are concerned with worldly things ever because the Holy Spirit has walked you since you have been ordained since before you were born to a specific path and the Holy Spirit, you know, he, Jesus finds us, we don't find him and he finally gets his hands on you and he's like, all right, they're with Willing, they're they're submitting, you know, we're we're growing, we're doing this and that, and we're going, we're going the path. And then somebody will want to come and and grieve the spirit within you by trying to like tether you back to this earth or try to tell you you're wrong. You know, all of a sudden you've been flowing in Holy Spirit, and all of a sudden someone's like, hey. Whose report will you trust? And you got to trust the report of the Lord. You have to continue following the Holy Spirit. You have to trust that he's always guiding you. And the Holy Spirit doesn't need to send humans to make, to, to, to make moves in our lives. You know, he'll send people to help us. But as far as getting to the next level, God himself does that. As far as, as the things that God has purposed for you, Holy Spirit's going to get you there. Will he send helpmates? Absolutely all the time. Will the helpmates try to use you unto your own unto their own accords? No. Are they gonna try to, you know, shame you and say that, you know, you're being you're you're wrong for that, you know, did of course. Because people who are concerned with this world, people who are are, you know, have their own issues are being led by not the Holy Spirit. And guess what? You're not going that way. And you've come too far on your walk to let anyone try to tell you you're doing it wrong. Now, there's a difference between edification and someone trying to be like a spiritual narcissist. Because that's the thing. You know, I always hesitate to, to call people narcissists in general. Because I don't believe you can label a person with a label. It's one label. But spiritual narcissism is a behavior. It's a behavior of those who try to use uh, God and his word to control other people. And, and it's, it's, it's a real thing. And there's a very, there's a vast difference between someone kind of correcting you in the Lord, because even the Lord chastises those whom he loves. He'll send believers to try to correct you. But you know what? On your worst day, when the Lord chastises you, he's never going to put shame on you. He's never going to lead you the wrong place. He's never going to treat you like he doesn't love you. So if someone is putting that on you and you know someone's leading you to somewhere that the Holy Spirit hasn't told you about, guess what? That's not from the Holy Spirit. The Holy Spirit's going to let you the plan, let you know the plan before he lets someone else know your plan. So you just make sure that you're sticking close to the Lord so you can hear and that you're not deceived by people that the enemy is sending.